The Mayor of Ipswich, Paul Pasali, is facing fresh scrutiny from Queensland's corruption watchdog, which late today announced it was launching a formal investigation. The Crime and Corruption Commission issued a three-paragraph statement announcing the probe, but would not detail the substance of the allegations. Councillor Pasali has recently faced criticism over political donations to his campaign funds, with questions over whether they've been properly declared. I spoke to him earlier by telephone. Paul Pasali, what is the Triple C investigating? I I'm not too sure, but there is a level of frustration of not knowing what and who. But, you know, I'm confident that um, it'll show that I've acted properly at all the time and I'll be cooperating, you know, fully with the Triple C. What is it that they told you? Well, they haven't said really much at all, it's just, but it's just, this is just standard um, practices and for matters of this type. And the most important thing for me to do at this stage is, is do my job as Mayor of Ipswich and let the process continue. When did you find out and how did you find out? I found out this afternoon, that's why the level of frustration, that's why, you know, I want to continue to be um, working hard as a Mayor of Ipswich and let the process happen. And I'm sure that um, people will understand that um, I'm presumed innocent. There was a referral some time ago from the Department of Local Government. We don't know what that referral was about, but there has been a lot of controversy swirling around your register of interests. Now, the rules there are that any donations need to be declared on that register every within 30 days. Have you been following that? No, but look, I'm very confident that everything I've done is, is appropriate and done properly and I just want to cooperate with the, the Triple C and I just want to thank everybody out there that's given me so much support. Now it's time for me to become and keep working as Mayor of Ipswich. I'm sorry, Councillor, did you say no, you haven't been reporting? What's that? D you just said no, I haven't been reporting. In, in no, in... no, no, I've, been rep I've done it all. So you're saying that you reported all of your donations to the Register of Interest within the 30 days? I believe that everything I've done, I've acted appropriately and um, that will be shown through the investigation and now I'm cooperating with a triple C to make sure I can put this matter to bed. Uh, you've got this separate campaign fund, Forward Ipswich. Are you rethinking even having that? I think the most important thing is to let the process happen because um, you know, I'm fairly confident in regards to the process we resolve all this with the CM, triple C. And what about personally? This, this process could take months. It's obviously going to be hanging over you for a while. Yeah, the most important thing, people know me, they know the, my character, they know who I am. I'm going to be doing my job as a mirror of Ipswich and um, let the process happen. I'm happy to work with the Triple C and, um, and work through the process, but it's not going to stop me doing my job. Now, there's, you're not alone in having private campaign funds. Is it time for councillors to receive electoral reimbursements like state and federal MPs do? Look, I just hope at the end of this process there's a system set up between local, state and federal that it's all same, the same. It's so confusing for, for people in politics, it's so confusing to the public. Let's get it all the same so no one has to, else has to go through what I've had to endure. OK, Councillor Paul Pasali, thank you so much for your time. No, thank you.